guys so today we are solving this problem uh, minimum number of swaps to make the string balanced so let's read the question you are given a zero indexed string s of even length n so length of the string is even the string consists of exactly n by 2 opening bracket and uh, n by 2 closing bracket so the string has only open and close square bracket nothing else so a string is called balanced if and only if it is the empty string so if the string is itself empty that means it is automatically balanced not uh, a problem so uh, or it can be written as a b where both a and b are balanced just like this uh, like this so let's say this is our string a and this is our string b then if we combine both of them then combined string is also balanced this is what they mean to say at second point and the third point is it can be written as c where c is a balanced so for example this is my uh, already uh, one string which is balanced and if i put two more bracket open and close around it this also a uh, balanced string okay so you may swap the bracket at any two indexes any number of time return the minimum number of swaps to make a string as balanced for example this is one string and this is not balanced so what we can do is let's read it or uh, it is written like this so we have two mismatches right this uh, this guy and this guy last one so what if i swap both of them i put this guy at here and other one is at here so this would be looking like this uh, like this so this is a uh, balanced string so only in one swap we are able to make it balanced so similarly we have to make the minimum number of swaps so that the string becomes balanced now let's say we have this is another string okay so uh, if we look at here how many minimum operations we require to make it balanced so can you guys observe uh, properly that if i swap this guy with this guy what it would become it would become a balanced only in one operation though it looks like two open two close bracket here and two open brackets are here but if we make the swap between the uh, first and the last character itself then this will become uh, the valence so i am swapping the first and last so what it would become finally see here so this we are bringing here so this is so uh, uh, this is opening bracket and this one is closing so i have made the swap of it and remaining string i am keeping as it is so I'm just copying the in between whatever it is written there. Okay. Now you guys can observe here. Just with one swap operation, we are able to make a balanced substring, balanced string. Okay. So what should our approach? Let me uh, let me explain my approach here. We are not using any stack first of all. So what I will do is I am writing one integer variable called open which would be volunteer for the opening brackets only okay so let's traverse so initially open value is equal to zero now we are coming here this guy is open no this is close bracket so no problem uh, but we have this open is zero so in case of zero we don't have to touch because we we just cannot uh, have any corresponding uh, open already because this is zero only so we got close here so not problem we will keep because this is zero now again here we again got a close bracket so this is zero so we cannot decrement it but see here first time we are getting an open bracket so we will increase this guy by one so it will become one now we are coming here uh, so this is a close bracket then we will check hey open is greater than zero yes this time it is greater than zero so we will decrease this by one so now it again becomes zero because we have neutralized this guy this guy open is neutralized with this close guy so that is why i have or uh, decrease it now we are coming again here is this open yes this is open so we have to increase this guy so this will become now one now we are coming out here is this open yes this is also open so we have to increase this guy by one so this is our open value two okay so now as it is given in the question that there are n by two or uh, open and n by two closing brackets okay so now we can easily guess here that these are the two open brackets which needs the corresponding uh, close bracket and it is guaranteed that if we have two open bracket which doesn't have the balanced stuff 
that means there must be the two closing bracket as well like this so with this help we can directly say that if i do this open whatever open value has so if i do two plus one so i'm adding plus one every time i'll tell you why and if i do divide by two this will give us the answer always okay in this case what it would be giving it would be giving us one and right we did only one swap here with the last and uh, first character which will give us the balanced one now you, might, you guys might have question that why how can i add this blindly two plus one and divide by two so i'll tell you why with few examples let's say we have another uh, string like this okay we can have a string like this like this like this and these are my closing bracket in this case what would be my open value obviously it would be uh, see here when we are here open would be zero right these are the closing so here also zero 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 only here it would be start one two and three so my open value would be three right so you guys might have a question that how can i add that plus one so let's clarify this in the with the help of this example so now we are interested only the one which are uh, the unbalanced part like open and close brackets which are of the unbalanced part okay so see here if i do a swap between this guy and this guy basically the one closing and one open bracket guy this actually in advance balance the remain uh, other two as well which are adjacent to them just like this if i swap them what it would become so after swapping this has become like this so now you guys can observe that this bracket and this bracket automatically become the part of a uh, balanced uh, string this part right this guy and this guy automatically so we we have to skip this right so that is why if i am adding plus one okay divide by two basically it gives me the uh, pair pair equivalent okay so now see here in this case open this three okay open bar three right in original string so three plus one divided by two this would be giving me answer as two because now one more swap is required here okay so after doing this swap this will entirely become a valence string like this so now you can observe that whatever open uh, value we are getting in this way that open value is would be basically plus one if we do plus one let's say open value is uh, even number even when in case of even if we do two plus one divided by two it wouldn't create a problem only for the odd cases we have to add plus one but it it is not creating the problem even when we are adding so let's go for a generic way so that is why two n plus open plus one divided by two will always give us an answer okay so let's say if it was only two then also it would be three by two which is again give us one only right so uh, in that case it is a generic way that plus one divided by two but remember that whenever open whenever a corresponding close is also occurring at that time we are also decreasing the open so let me show you corresponding code of it i think you should you guys would be very clear here that we are doing without any stack so no extra space so it's important to do this way in the interviews okay this is very simple code so see this is my open variable with zero initially so i am traversing through this uh, string and see whenever i am getting an open bracket i am making it open plus plus else i am going to else part if it is a close bracket so here i am checking that if open is greater than zero then only i am making open minus minus okay so it should be greater than zero like in this case we were not making open minus minus because in this case of a string when we are starting our open see here when we are here open is zero so we are not doing anything we are not doing anything it is open zero we are not doing anything then it is started so whenever a close bracket is occur it basically in the else part we have to look whether there is open is already occurred or not okay and finally whatever open value would have i am making open plus one divided by two which we just discussed so let me execute my code i am running my code yeah it is working fine let me try to submit it 
क्या सो इट इज सबमिटेड सो बेसिकली हेयर वी आर नॉट टेकिंग एनी एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस दिस इज हैपनिंग इन ओ ऑफ वन ओनली एंड वी आर डूइंग ओनली ए सिंगल ट्रेवर्सल टू अवर स्ट्रिंग सो दिस शुड बी अवर अप्रोच सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू गैज हैव एनी कंसर्न प्लीज मैके कमेंट ओपर दियर थैंक यू